There are two things you can never argue. One, it's always good to save a dollar. And two, looking good should cost less. So now you understand why home waxing kits have become a staple in medicine cabinets all over the country. While it's always best and most hygienic to have waxing done at a professional salon, in a pinch you could pick up a home waxing kit complete with wax, paper, strips, applicators, azaloon oil, trimming scissors, and a mirror for just $12.99. But if you're going to go the do-it-yourself route, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. Because remember, saving a few dollars today could lead to some pricey medical bills later if things go wrong. The most important thing to know when waxing at home is that you need to be working in a clean and a hygienic environment. The grungy dorm shower or your barely scrubbed tub just won't cut it. Sanitary conditions are the number one priority. So with that said, make sure you clean all tools and the surfaces they'll touch with antibacterial soap. This includes trimming scissors, tweezers for stray hairs, countertops, mirrors, seats, especially if you're going to be attempting a bikini or a Brazilian wax. Other than that, you'll want to make sure the hair you're removing is at least a half an inch and that you've chosen the correct wax for your skin type. Don't be afraid to ask the drugstore's pharmacist for some help when deciphering the waxing kit labels. That's what they're there for. You may even consider giving your doctor a call to run over any personal allergies or skin conditions. Once you have the waxing kit, read the directions fully and carefully. Some kits call for powdering the skin beforehand or applying oils so the wax adheres only to the hair and not to the skin. Also, avoid overheating the wax. If it's too hot, you risk first-degree burns that'll leave you with redness and a white plaque where the wax was applied. Worse, if the wax is extremely hot, you risk second-degree burns, resulting in serious fluid-filled blisters on the epidermis and even aggravating the deep reticular dermis layer. While blisters are easily treated with burn creams, they can develop infections that will lead to scarring. If this happens and you have any question about the severity of the burn or the blister, be sure to call your doctor. So make sure you test small areas before moving into larger patches. And don't forget to always remove the wax in the direction of hair growth, but never over acne, scabs, warts, moles, or cuts, as this can injure the skin. To learn more about hair removal procedures and techniques, check out other videos in this series.